Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here? And what we have here, we can label this as equation one and this as equation two. And from equation one, we make y the subject and take x to our side. That becomes y equals to six minus x. And this we label as equation three. Then also from equation two, which is x times y equals to 6. Here we substitute equation 3 here. That is, this becomes x times y, which is 6 minus x, then equals to 6 here. The next step, x open this bracket, and this becomes 6x minus x squared, then equals to 6 here. Then we rearrange on this side, this becomes minus x squared plus 6x equals to 6. And next step here, also we take 6 to the left hand side and we have minus x squared plus 6x minus 6 equals to 0 here. And to remove this minus here, we multiply through by minus 1 here. Then here this becomes plus x squared then minus 6x plus 6 equals to zero from here that is here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to one b equals to minus six and c equals to six applying the quadratic formula which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus four ac over two a then here we have x equals to minus minus 6 plus or minus square root of minus 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 6 then over 2 times 1 that is yeah, this becomes x equals to minus times minus that's plus, and this is 6, then plus or minus square root of minus 6 squared, that's 36, then minus 4 times 1 times 6, we have 24, then over 2 here. Then, this becomes x equals to 6 plus or minus square root of 36 minus 24, that's 12, all over 2 here. And also, we can write this as x equals to 6 plus or minus root 4 times 3, then over 2 here. Then, when we separate this from where we have root a times b, which can be written as root a times root b, that is, we have x equals to 6 plus or minus root 4 times root 3 then over 2 that is we have x equals to 6 plus or minus root 4 that's 2 then root 3 over 2 then which implies 2 is common up here we have x equals to 2 into bracket 3 plus or minus root 3 then over 2 here. Also here, 2 cancelled each other. All we have becomes x equals to 3 plus or minus root 3. That is, here we have two possible values of x. That is, x1 here equals to 3 plus root 3. Then we have x2 equals to 3 minus root 3. Then, to get the corresponding values of y, we use the equation 3, which is y equals to 6 minus x. Then here, y1 cannot be equals to 6 minus x1, which is 3 plus root 3. Then here, minus open this bracket, and this becomes y1 equals to 6 minus 3 minus root 3. That is, 
this becomes y1 equals to 6 minus 3 that's 3 then minus root 3 that is the first set of solution here x1 y1 we can write it out and we have x1 comma y1 and this equals to 3 plus root 3 comma 3 minus root 3 then also we get the value of y2 here from this same relation that is y2 equals to 6 minus x2 which is 3 minus root 3 then this becomes y2 equals to 6 minus open this bracket we have minus 3 then plus root 3 that is also we have y2 equals to 6 minus 3 that's 3 then plus root 3 then the second set of solution x2 y2 also we have x2 comma y2 and this is equals to 3 minus root 3 comma 3 plus root 3 then we have these two set of solutions here when we look at this the value of x here is same thing as the value of y here and the value of y here is same thing as the value of x here then to check on what we have if this satisfies the given problem from the first equation here we substitute the value of x and y and we can make it of the first solution which is 3 plus root 3 comma 3 minus root 3 then it means here in equation 1 we have x as 3 plus root 3 then plus y which is 3 minus root 3 is it equals to 6 on this side that is here root 3 minus root 3 cancelled out and we are left with 3 plus 3 is it equals to 6 on this side of course 3 plus 3 gives us 6 which is equals to 6 here then left hand side equals to the right hand side then we conclude that this two solutions here to satisfy the equation one then also for the equation two here which is x times y equals to six when we substitute here x we have three plus root three then times y we have three minus root three then is it equals to six on this side that is yeah this follows when we have a plus b into brackets and open bracket a minus b which can be written as a square minus b square that is here yeah. a is tiny as 3 we have 3 square minus b root 3 root 3 square then is it equals to 6 here and 3 square we have 3 times 3 that's 9 then minus a yeah, square can be square root that's 3 is it equals to 6 on this side and 9 minus 3 of course this is 6 which is equals to 6 here left hand side equals to right hand side and also these two solutions here satisfy the second equation and thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comments see you next class and bye for now